everyone, it's Afi, and today I am here to do the historical romance reader tag. I was tagged by Happily Ever April, I think is her name, um, and so I figured this would be something fun, something different to do here on the channel. So I've got 13 questions here to go over and I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this one. So I'm just going to hop right in. The first book that I ever read for historical romance was The Viscount Who Loved Me by Julia Quinn. And that is because um, I watched season two of Bridgerton and was absolutely obsessed with it. And I wanted to read the source material. And so that was the first historical romance I read and I just, it took off for me after that. So yeah, that's where it all started. Question number two, what was the last historical romance that you read? I just finished reading this, um, literally like yesterday, but this is by Suzanne Enoch. This is Some Like It Scott. And it's part of a series which <laughs> I did not realize and so I'm four books deep into this series and have no clue what happened in the other books and it seems like one of those series where you definitely need to read it in order. So I'm gonna have to go back and start from the beginning but um, this one was really fun. I enjoyed the um, the plot of it so I, I'll probably be, be giving this like a four or five star. Question number three is, who is an underrated historical romance author? And I have two. Um, one I have read, the other one I have not. Uh, the first one which I have read is Sherry Thomas. Um, I finished a book of hers last month, I believe, and I really liked it. I really liked her writing style. And the second is an uh, author named Vanessa Riley. I just purchased some of her books and I'm really looking forward to reading her stuff. I don't know much about her, but she's not anyone I've ever heard um, being spoken about, like ever. Question number four is, who is a historical romance author that you haven't read before? Um, I am really looking forward to reading anything by Scarlett Scott. I've heard so many good things. I know she has a series out right now um, that is really, really popular. And so I'm looking forward to reading her stuff. I do have a few of her books, so I should probably just get on it already. Um, but she's someone that I'm, I'm really, really interested in reading. Question number five is what historical romance writers or books would you recommend to new readers? I'm going by authors because it's hard to pick one specific book. So I would say people like Tessa Dare, who she's kind of where I started after I finished the um, Bridgerton series. I, I started reading Tessa Dare and her stuff is so fun, so funny, um, very lighthearted. And so I think she's a really good place to start. Um, Stacy Reed, who is just I think phenomenal as a whole. I've also got Lisa Kleypas who is basically like the queen of historical romance. You can't go wrong with the Lisa Kleypas book. For Lisa Kleypas I would recommend starting with like the Wallflower series. That's a really good place to start with her. And then the last author I have here is Joanna Shoup. She's got some different types of books I guess. She's got her American uh, like golden age era books which are a little bit different from some of the other authors and then she's also very spicy <laughs> her books are very very spicy but um, those are the four authors that I would say are good picks for new to historical romance readers Question number six is, what are your favorite historical romances of all time? I have three for this question, and I'm not going to go into them because I've already talked ad nauseum about these books. Um, but I've got, again, The Magic by Lisa Kleypas. Um, this is part of the Wallflower series. I've got A Scoundrel of Her Own by Stacy Reed. This is part of the Sinful Wallflower series. And then I've got 
The Lady Gets Lucky by Joanna Shoup. And this is part of the Fifth Avenue Rebels series. So those are my three favorite historical romances of all time. Those books were part of my reread in February. Just because I love them so much, I wanted to reread them. Question number seven, do you prefer old school or new school historical romances? I prefer new school, so anything after like 2000s um is pretty much I think a good era to read historical romances from um the few books that I have read that are before the 2000s I felt like they were a little um misogynistic um the women always needed the hero to save them um just the way the men would talk to the women was questionable um, there's dubious consent and those are just things that kind of bug me so I prefer after the 2000s where it's a little I mean even like early 2000s you can still have a little bit of that for the most part 2000s and forward are um, much better in my opinion I don't feel like uh, most of those books have those issues um, not that I can think of at least Question number eight is what are your favorite historical romance tropes? Um, for me, I really love a good enemies to lovers, which is hard to do, but I, I have read a few that I've really enjoyed. Um, class difference is another one that I'm obsessed with just because the forbidden aspect of it is so like heart wrenching. And then the third one that I really, really like is second chance romance. Um, which is part of why I love, again, the magic so much. It's got a class difference and a second chance romance um, going on. So yeah, those are my three favorite tropes. Um, I will eat up any book that has one of those tropes in, in them. Like I just, I love those tropes so much. Question number nine is what are your favorite historical romance settings? Um, I have road trips which can be a lot of fun depending on what kind of hijinks the couple gets into. Um, all the road trip books I've read so far have been just a lot of fun because of the, the situations the couples get themselves into. Um, balls, which usually there's some kind of issue going down at a ball or somebody's getting caught doing something they shouldn't do at a ball. Um, hiding in corners in a garden, making out, just, yeah, balls are fun. I like balls. Um, and then the last one I have is Scotland. I, I like stories about, um, the Highlands, Highlanders. So anything that has to do with Scotland and just kind of, whether it's a castle in Scotland or they're living in the countryside in Scotland or they're living near a lake in Scotland. Like it, I just like Scotland. I, I just like Scotland as a setting for some reason. I think it's just all the Scottish Highlander books I've, I've read, I've really enjoyed. So that's probably why. Question number 10 is what are the oldest historical romance books that you own? I have two here, but these are by the same author. I've got The Sword and the Swan. This is by Loretta, or sorry, this is by Roberta Gillis. And then I've got The Dragon and the Rose, which is also by Roberta Gillis. And these were written um, on the same year. So these were written in 1977. So these are really, really old. Question number 11 is what is your favorite step back that you own? And I actually have two. So I have one by Elizabeth Lowell. Uh, this is Untamed. And here's the step back. I just, I love the color. I love the clinch. I don't know. There's something about it. I mean, there, there are a lot of books that have that similar, um, step back, but there's something about this one in particular that I really, really like. Um, I think 
the color is just so beautiful, the pink color. Um, and then the other one is Cat Martin Night Secrets, and I really love this one because it is a bathtub scene. She's giving him a bath, and I just think it is so beautiful. Um, there's, I don't think I've seen a step back like that ever. Well, I have seen other... I have seen step backs with bathtubs or with people in the tub, but I've never seen one where the other, like one of the people is washing the other person. So I don't know, something about that I, I really like. Question number 12 is what are some historical romance releases that you're looking forward to? Um, I am interested in the new series by Harper St. George. I think the first book um, came out already, but it was earlier this year, and that one is called The Stranger I Wed. So I'm looking forward to that book. And then the other book that I'm interested in is by Vanessa Riley, who I mentioned before. Um, I haven't read her stuff yet, but I, um, I'm interested in reading her stuff. So, uh, this book is called A Gamble at Sunset. I don't know if it's actually come out yet, but my hope is to get through the series of hers that I already have um, and at some point maybe get to this book as well. Question number 13 is what historical romance creators do you follow for recommendations? And I have two. I've got um, Random Olive Reads who has pretty much nothing but historical romance recommendations and her videos are done so well. Um, she gives kind of a little bit of the plot and um, information on the tropes and um, she she just she, her it's so concise and well done her videos and so I really like when she posts I'm I'm there <laughs> like I'm ready to watch um, and then the other person is Hope Vohm and she's got again a lot of videos about historical romances and um i just when she posts i'm i'm there like i'm ready to watch because she's got she's got a funny personality she's she's really cute and um her recommendations are always interesting so i like watching her videos as well all right, so those were all my answers for the historical romance readers tag. And if you have any questions about any of my answers, um, let me know in the comments. Or if you just want to talk about some of these books or some of these authors, let me know in the comments. Um, I am really happy I did this tag. It's something a little bit different. So, um, had a lot of fun with this one and if you did make it to the end of this video please leave me a star emoji and I will see you in the next video. Bye!